Hey and welcome guys, Dixie here, and this is Casual Slacking on Avebat TV. In this episode, Entropy Rising. The game comes out today on Steam, the 20th of November, and we're gonna check it out. Published and developed by Autotivity Entertainment, as you saw, is the first one on Steam. It has quite a nice launcher, as you take a look into the options, and fully rebind everything. If you, in case you're wondering, it's a first-person 3D puzzle game. Pretty cool one. So the launcher has all the options you want to see. Um, graphics quality for presets. Um, there's a textual resolution, so high, low, medium, and then you can. There is not FOV slider, but it's FOV value. You can choose between 55 to 120. For the purposes of this video, I've set it on 90. Now this is the press release version of the game, so all of the 33 levels will be unlocked, so I can choose whatever I want to go. Um, but usually when you progress through the game, um, you can only go 3 levels ahead, like if I complete level 2, I can choose between 3, 4 and 5 to complete after that, and if I complete one of those, I'll get maybe another one level ahead. So yeah, you can never be stuck, kind of, unless you actually get stuck. Let's start with level 1, because I want to get 3 stars here, so... Maybe not. Let's just go. Arrival. So, you can play at your own place. Nothing is ever worse to rewind time at any time. That's the core mechanic of the game, as we get dragged into the cube here. So, we see those... Those are builders. Because the game has level editor, it's like external though. Um, since it has Steam work, uh, Steam Workshop enabled. So in order to do that, at the moment we're playing the default level pack. And you can download later on, you can download more as people start to create them and post them on the Steam Workshop. That's how it works. So we have a jump. And we can rewind time with the right mouse button. Let's see if I can actually complete this without filling up. Those are builders and we need those blocks. The ones they're dragging. And... I think those are for bonuses or for achievements. Yeah, okay, first time I died here is because this, this is a trap. You need to step exactly on the, the plate that is kind of different cover. Okay, I need to complete this in less than 100 seconds. Can I do it? We shall see. I wonder if I can get those builder packs from those, but they are flying so high. Usually just see where the builder flies and then just go there and pick it up. It's all explained here. One out of one. And we complete and... Completed arrival. Three stars, about time, okay. I think nothing going on on the next level. My time is 90 seconds, new high score. Damn, that was close, okay. Did we go level 2? Oh yeah, on level 2 we got the weapon. Hold up. Should have gone there. What's the goal here? No time re Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to use reverse time to show you how it's working. Complete without dying? Yeah, we, we, we should be able to do that. Okay. As we smash through here. Okay, we introduced to the lava. And also water balls. And this is the weapon grabber found. It can manipulate your arm with a device that can bend gravity and later get the power to tilt the entire world. So we suck this shit out. Not only really exactly suck it, but we can move it around. And we need to dis ditch it into the lava. Um, using grabber on the lava is dangerous because it's gonna overheat. I don't wanna try, but maybe you can die. Um, when I tried it before, I couldn't die. I don't know, okay. Let's do this. So we drag shit around. Here it's too too far away, so you need to be kinda close to, to toss this. And then they go away. And we continue. What was here? Oh yeah, those are the balls. Wait. Oh this is one. This ball is gonna try to hit me. And you die when you get hit by that. Okay, we activate the builder. Oh, he goes. Creates a building block. That he's gonna bring this 
bring here because I've played this level before. And on the way here, we're gonna we're gonna get it to all of two. Um, because if you stay there, you just go somewhere else. Okay, we're here. We're gonna need this ball to hit us. Nothing's happened when the water ball hits us, but. They're trying to stop this one. Did it work? I don't know. So we get this. This acts as a proximity shit. Okay, now we need to disable at least the one. Because without it, I can't pass. Yeah, I can't I can't stand between here. I tried but I couldn't make it work. And that's the second level. We didn't die. And we didn't use time rivers. Complete it. Oh, but we still okay. Time reverses you just jump and then up and you can speed up with the shift. Okay, this is what level? The new one. Okay, let's see. Trigger box is control box marked with the same core, but they need electricity to do so. The scale can power the trigger box. Even even enough stones, the number of stone spheres required to turn on is marked on the red the display the scale. In the red, so what we need three. I think so. What? Not high enough? Oh, there is a third one. I was like, what the hell? I'm not heavy enough? No way. I see. And then we pass through. Damn. Be cool. I guess we're just gonna jump. Okay, that didn't go as expected. Clearly, I needed to take the the slow way around. I was way too excited. So what? We just push those through? Oh no! That was a bad idea. What if I just jump? Never mind. Don't jump. I see. Use the stone sphere to push the lava out of the way. Momentum helps. As soon as the stone touches the lava, it will heat up and become dangerous. Yeah, I kinda messed up. We need up, we need a new stone and just speed it up and toss it across. There we go. And action. And he fucking fails. But don't worry. We have all we need. Go away. How am I gonna get that building block over there? I guess. What do we need? We need less than. We need to extinguish the lava. So I can manipulate the balls. The balls of fire. There we go. It opened. What's this? Thermometers will also produce electricity given enough heat. The number of fully heated lava spears necessary to turn on. Okay. Got it. I did it before reading that because it was logical. Only logical. Okay. Coronation. This is where we're gonna upgrade the weapon. Or so they say. What the hell was that?
I need to... I need to break the bubble. I'm not sure what... Ah! I'm not sure what that did, but... Yeah, I definitely didn't need to do that. It needs to stay in the bubble, I think. By the looks of it. Oh no, we need it for here. How are we gonna do it then? Yeah, that's not an option. Oh. But disabling this did something here, okay. So many ways to get electricity going. What? Yeah, I think we need one over there. This is still working, right? Yeah, but we need this. This is too hot. There we go. Got it, got it. What about here? Upgrade to Gravigan. What the hell is this? Achievement unlocked. So I can shoot. Nope. I guess they'll tell me. You can also create fixed, longer lasting gravity bubbles with a single left click. Creating gravity bubbles is only possible on blue surfaces, and gravity bubbles will pop when touched. You cannot control gravity bubbles that already exist in the world. What the hell is a gravity bubble? Check it out. How am I gonna pop it? I see. And what could that be used for? Burst the bubble. We need to. There we go. From here, that dude starts running. Okay. And now we're gonna go after him. Oh, well, not exactly. We just need to see. Okay, he's gonna start working. Get that part. And then. Just need to know where he's going. Oh, he brings it there. What a douche. And then it runs away. You know what? I'm just gonna... Wait for him over here. And get it. Surprise. Okay, now we need... I don't know how... Now I can move Wava as well. But it's overheated. Oops. Yeah, I don't think that did anything. I need to somehow make it in there. But we're out of time, so... Thanks for watching guys, Dinsy here, and this was Casually Slacking on Avebat TV with Entropy Rising. Rate the video and follow the channel. More content. See you next, your next game.